One of our favorite criminal counterfeit cases, the Minnesota Independent Cooperative Case, or MECOOP as they call it, wrapped up earlier this year. Many years ago, these guys did the standard buyback scheme, where they bought medicine or empty bottles back from patients, put random stuff in them, and then sold them to unsuspecting pharmacies. However, the MECOOP case was the first one where we got a look at a buyback collection point. In this case, it was a pizzeria in Los Angeles being used to collect the empty bottles and medicine before prepping them for sale. In the back, in an office, they had boxes of bottles brought in by buyers before they were said to be cleaned up and prepped for sale to unsuspecting pharmacies. A working restaurant with pizza ovens is not a temperature-controlled drug storage facility, and it's completely unsafe for the asthma, HIV, and hepatitis C meds that they kept there. We also learned about a new trick, or at least new to us. The fraudsters had a bottle of HIV medicine that they had bought back from a patient for a few dollars. It was brand new, so the factory foil seal was still perfectly intact. Sure, they can sell it to a pharmacy and make a hefty profit, but how could they make even more money? Instead, they took off the glued-on medical information insert, cut a hole in the side of the bottle, removed the real drug, and replaced the HIV drug with ibuprofen. They stuck the pamphlet back on and then sold it to the unsuspecting pharmacy. We're guessing that they took the real HIV medicine, put it in a generic bottle, and dispensed it. They made twice as much money from their criminal scheme as they had before. That is some real criminal innovation. If this sounds familiar, it's essentially a very similar type of scam uncovered in Florida in 2022 and like another buyback scheme revealed in New York just a month ago. PSM congratulates the Department of Justice, U.S. attorneys in Ohio and California for a successful prosecution, but we still worry about keeping patients safe. Take a moment and watch and share this PSA about how patients can protect themselves from counterfeits at our website. And if you're a pharmacist, visit our website's pharmacist section, where you can learn about the Drug Supply Chain Security Act and learn how you can verify medicine in your inventory. See it all at safemedicines.org.